Mutual destruction. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Link Paints where in this battle report we're going to be playing some more Zone Mortalis but this time the board has increased in size dramatically. Well, to so what it's meant to be. To so what it's meant to be, yeah. <laughs> four by four. Uh, and it looks absolutely amazing. But before we get uh, too involved with the board, we're going to look at the armies today. So, it's going to be the same as last time. It's going to be the World Eaters led by The Butcher. And my salamanders, led by yours truly. So, I'm going to go in with my centurion. And he has got a dragon scale shield, a combi Volkite charger, a thunder hammer that is in there. It's just so skillfully crafted, you can't quite see it. Um, and that is master crafted. He's going to be with a squad of pyroclasts. And the sergeant has got a power sword. Yes, power sword. They all come with um, melter bombs and an absolutely devastating unit. I also mentioned, um, well, I forgot to mention last time, is I've got a Warlord trait that allows my Warlord and the unit he's with to gain a plus one to strength in close combat, which I completely forgot about, but this time I will remember. We have our lovely Contented Dreadnought, which this time the, the Wanderer, as I like to call him. Um, hopefully this time I can position him a little bit better than last time. He's not going to kind of wander off too much. He's going to have a bit more action this time. And he's got a heavy flamer and the melter gun in there. Oh, and his, in his power fist is a dragon fire, dragon breath, flamer, heavy flamer with the salamanders. And then we have two squads of 10 tactical marines. And the salamanders only just have a mastercrafted bolter. So that rounds up the list at 750 points. So, the butcher, what are we got? Uh, so, I'm trying to keep in my tradition of hitting points on the head. So, we're at 750 again. Bang Excellent. on. Excellent. Bang on. Matchy, matchy. <clears throat> matchy, matchy. Um, obviously, you know, we're trying to play the patrol games at the moment just to try and ease ourselves in. Um, but again, I've gone for a Centurion Champion. Um, not much has changed in this list at all. A couple of tweaks, but nothing major. We're just trying to learn the rules, really, for this. Yeah. Get it down a little bit more. Uh, so my champion is running his, obviously his Phalanx Blades. What World Eater wouldn't go into battle without his trusty Phalanx? So uh, he is running his Phalanx Blades. If anyone's come up against these, these are really quite nasty. Not nice. Yeah, they uh, were pretty devastating last time. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're kind of like a, almost an auto-include. So I will have to kind of model an actual... Praetor Stroke Champion with Phalanx Blades, to be fair, because, you know, he doesn't quite cut the muscle yet. Um, he's running uh, Butcher's Claws, so that's his Warlord trait. Um, and he is basically a close combat monster in 750 points, really. Um, then we have, all behind him, is the two identical squads of Despoilers, um, because, you know, Chain Axes, man. Yeah, just chain axes. And body eaters, they do love to despoil things. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, they are literally spot on exactly the same. Sweet. Um, the sergeants have artificial armor, and they are rocking um, Legion Vexillas this time. Which Brilliant. is slightly different to the last time. Um, as yet to be modeled. Uh, <laughs> we'll get that. We'll get to so that. there. Just use your imagination. It's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're very, very tiny. Um, then again, we are going on to our um, Kedafractai. Didn't quite have the points again to do, even with all the shuffling. I was trying to get some butchers in, but I thought it might be a little bit unfair at 750 points. Cheers. <laughs> A tad, but maybe <laughs> next time when we would do a thousand points. So Angron's, uh, you know, really been annoyed by his cataphracti, so he sent them off again <laughs> to go and get rid of any salamanders that they can find. So these boys are pretty much as they're modelled, um, power fist and a combi. Yeah. Ah, yes. Um, no. So, anyway, slight mix-up. All of these are pretty much armed with what they've got. 
Um, so power fist and combi bolters. Um, the sergeant has got a power axe. Very skinny power axe, but a power axe. It's a light um, version. <coughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> he's also got a, um, a combi. Combi bolter and money model? I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to kind of double check. Um, but yes, he has got a minor combi weapon. Yeah. Sweet. Um, actually, the Vexillas, we don't have any Vexillas on these guys, sorry. No, they were yeah. so small that they shrank into yes, oblivion. Yes, completely, no, I completely messed all of this <laughs> up. No, they haven't got Vexillas, they are just as they are with Artificial Armor. Excellent. Right. Less bits to remember. Yeah, exactly, easier. Um, Contemptor. He is rocking his punchy fist and his chain fist um, with one melter, also one combi bolter. Just gold. Yes. He's choppy choppy. He's a big scary boy. He's choppy choppy. Um, and that rounds out 750 on the nose. Excellent. We are both running exactly the same amount of points. Yeah, and on the nose this time, because normally, like in our normal 30k videos, it's always a couple points yeah, under. There's always two. Yeah, there's, there's always a couple, which is annoying. And then, so the board, the table has been lovely made up, and it's got some interesting little sort of corridors and rooms. We're hoping that there will be an adjective in here, because that, that's just going to be beautiful just to get down there and then have to kind of defend or run back out of and go down through all the corridors and bits and pieces. Only a couple of doors, um, just to help kind of segregate off a couple of areas. Don't want to go too door crazy and spend actions having to open or sort of close and cow behind. But we got a couple just to make things interesting. So the mission today is... Sweep and clear. Excellent, so that is, remind me again, is that table quarters? It is table quarters, yeah. It's table quarters. To basically take over the table quarters. So, yeah, there won't be an objective in that cool little corridor at all. Boo! Uh, yes, yes. No, but we have to basically take over the table quarters. Sweet. So, here be this one. This one. This one. Or maybe this one. Now, with my dice. Cool. So, we're going to find out who exactly is going to be occupying said corners and we'll be back in a moment but before we go anywhere we need to roll for strategic advantage so let's go in the new dice tray yeah of course it's your new dice tray you get strategic advantage yes. damn it um <laughs> right cool 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 um as long as you can fit your select the battlefield edge i Excellent. will go Over the back here. Yes. Excellent. So that's your quarter. And then mine will be that one over there with the power cells. You got the power cells. Yeah, excellent. Let's utilize that power to bring us home a win. Yay! And here we are. We are fully deployed. So I've got a squad tactical marines there, one over there, along with my dreadnought. And then we have two of the despoiler squads and a Dreadnought as well as his Terminators over there. So I've thought as tactically as I can and I could have put down my Paraclasts onto the board but I thought I'm going to save my extra two points and maybe bring my HQ in next turn or maybe not. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? They yeah. kind of, uh, you, you force my hand, you know, with placing your Dreadnought, because I can't counter that without the Dreadnought. So I had to then place my Dreadnought. And my plan was to go with HQ and two troops. But he dumped his Dreadnought on the table, and I had to. <laughs> had to put something out there to combat it, because I, I just can't. You know, nothing else can really do any damage to it, so he can kind of just come and murderize everything. Um, and then I thought, I just need more things on the table, so I just thought I'd dump my Terminators in there as well. But we'll have to wait two turns for my champion. Yeah. I mean, I'm a little bit worried of the Terminators. A little bit of the Dreadnought, but I mean, I've got my own Dreadnought over there. But I kind of popped him on thinking, 
he might do something, he might not. He might just kind of sit there and look menacing. Oh no, I'm coming at you. Yeah. <laughs> He's a kill murder boys. Kill, kill. Yeah, I think I might have to do the same. I mean, he didn't really do anything last turn, so I feel obligated to actually <laughs> do something with him this turn. Um, hopefully I remember what he does. So, let's see if I seize. Well, no, because you have to spend points. Right? I do have to spend points to seize. Yes. Um, Seven up unless you spend reinforcement points. Which I've got two. That's a good point. Mm. Um, no, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna save my reinforcement points for reinforcements rather than miles. I want to come and see where you end up going down the corridors. So we will head on over to the World Eaters. Turn one. <laughs> Great. So we have moved up. Um, the dreadnought has kind of just curve up to his little corner. He's hiding bravely around the corner. As you don't know what your guys, what, what's your room? Um, not armed with. Baldy Melter. Yes, he's definitely hiding around the corner. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, Very wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so. Um, <laughs> so, um, actually, these guys are going to do the run action as well. I just realised I didn't do that because I was being silly. Uh, kind of moved them and then it got distracted by moving all your other stuff in the Yeah, well, you know, there's a big, there's a big dreadnought there that's sort of like, you know, taking a lot of attention away. Oh, God, I'm really scared. Um, I think it's the red paint. It is, yeah. Yeah. Urgent. So, yeah, these guys have ran. Um, on camera, just now. Oh. Just as we speak. Um, <laughs> so they've run around, they're not quite around the corner, hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. Mm, not quite. But I don't want to get shot just yet. Maybe. It might be. Um, Maybe a little bit. So, I needed these Terminators on. Because with this scenario, it costs two reinforcement points extra to come on from the side or the rear. And I feel less slow. Cataphracto are slow. So, I needed to deploy them like now, which is why I brought them on originally. Um, these guys had to move out of the way, so they've kind of found a crevice. And these have moved up. And hopefully, these two units combined you can take that bad boy on. Yes, I, I, I like to imagine in my head that if the spoilers cause ran up and then start to slow down as they hear like the thunderous treads of your terminators <laughs> and then just smash them out of the way. Just like, get out of my room, get out of my way. Angron needs us to do this. <laughs> um, so, yes, we are. We are heading that that dreadnought needs to die. Not to me, no. No, <laughs> no it doesn't. <clears throat> now, let's see what Sir Lynch does. And so at the end of my movement phase, uh, not much has happened, so <laughs> the uh, content dreadnought has just shimmied sideways, just so we can line up a nice little shot over at the Terminators over there. And my salamanders had valiantly opened the door and made a little bit of a treat just to help defend the... What name did you come up with? En Enginaro. Mm, yeah, yes. yeah. It sounds fancy. Um, I forgot to mention at the start that we are still on board a salamander ship and they're just kind of slowly just sending down little kind of combat patrols down to try and get rid of this menace. This vile menace that is the world eaters. Um, so we're, we're yeah, they're trying to trying to defend the engine as best we can, and hopefully we can uh, drive them off and back to their boarding torpedoes. Yeah, yeah. drop drop talons? No, not drop talons. Death claw. Death claw. Yeah, no, we'll fit, we'll fit. The, the yeah. space claws of <laughs> boarding. Dread claws. Dread claws. Dread claws. That's that was it. That's it. That's the one. Dread claws. See, we knew one of them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, um, some huge things. So the Contemptor is going to fire his melter gun into the Terminators over there. It's within range. Hitting on twos. Let's see him. The twin linked. Don't need it. That's fine. So it's two shots. Strength eight. AP one. One. So that's going to be winning on twos. 
There's a wall. Always a wall. Damn it. Um, so that's one invulnerable. Uh, Cantifractor? Yes. Oh, yes. Saved. Excellent. Um, he's got a boost and heavy flamer. That's kind of reach. And so that is the end of my turn. So I get two points for this corner over here. Uh, you're already up to four. Is it two per corner? No, it's one per corner. What? Oh, victory points. Yeah, victory points. Yes, yeah, it's two per quarter. Two per quarter. Yes. Oh, so that's oh, two right. for me over there. No. One per quarter. One per quarter. We'll get there eventually, guys, don't worry. Um, don't so, yeah, so I have one, but you've got two at the minute because you have your own quarter, quarter and then that one over there. This quarter. Sneeze. <clears throat> so, yes. it is one versus two, but then I get my two reinforcement points added on, so I'm up to four. So. Oh yes, I could bring some things in. I could bring um, HQ in. <coughs> or maybe not. Who knows? But I will find out soon enough as we go into the world leaders. Turn. Do. Right. So, uh, move these boys up. Just to come up to here. Uh, so the Terminators have just kind of, well, ambled very slowly again. Um, with nowhere to go. I didn't want these just uh, boilers around there because it takes a long time for them to get around there for no real reason they need to be in the heart of the action and also I want that engineering anyway and they have moved up in a very organised fashion yeah they have yeah, yeah. they kind of you know they, they, they do have <coughs> the nails are etiquette. not biting yet no not yet not yet they're, they're gnawing they're niggling you know, so they're, they're in file rank and file um, the dreadnought is having a dreadnought off yeah they're just at the minute just flexing because <laughs> because why not um, and then what we've done here is we've also moved these spoilers up as well. Uh, because we have kind of forgotten about reactions again, uh, I am giving Mr. Lynch an opportunity to pick a reaction. Which I shall indeed. So the reaction I can do is that I can make sapphire shots um, against an opponent within 12 inches. Uh, and it also has pinning, and it's uh, called a suppressive fire. So I'm gonna add a little sort of discussion with myself and with with the butcher. Um, I decided I'm gonna go with the contender dreadnought purely because that his weapon is twin linked, so I get extra chances to try and hit, get some skit there, yeah, get some skits get there, get the big gab. You know yeah. that roll sixes, <laughs> yes. Um, so yes, he's going to fire his multi motor over at his contender dreadnought uh, while he's doing some skid hacky 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 skid hacky 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 Boo, boo on me. I should have won that six, shouldn't I? Yeah, that would have been a three. Ah! No. Hindsight. It's Never good. mind. It's good. Never mind. <clears throat> but Make you sweat a little bit, though. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Just so dab it off later. We're going to go straight into the shooting phase. We're going to go straight into shooting phase. So, um, I will... Um, I will shoot back at the Contemptor with my own Contemptor. <laughs> um, he has his Melter Fist. And he will melt him. And he is going to melt him. Not, not at all. Not um, at all. So yeah, so that was a waste of time. Oh. Um, he does have also a combi, a combi bolter, which he's just going to go for. Nice. Two hits. Um, and I would imagine sixes. Ooh. Ooh. No, so yeah, definitely got to be sixes. So that's definite no as well. Weefy, um, weef. The Terminators will also be having a go, can they all see? Yes. Yes indeed, they can see the big red lad over there. They can all see him. Um, I need him 12, actually. Combination Voltaires. Yes indeed, let's Yep. Is it all in 12 or is it just a couple? It is uh, just the four. Just the four, okay. Yes indeed. So, rapid fire on 
four, and then not to wrap it on the other. And Ooh. that's uh, that's. Let's hope that doesn't help. Ooh. Oh no! Oh <laughs> dear! Ah, uh, these will be sixes again. Sixes, yeah. Oh, we There's have one. one. We have one. <laughs> All right, it's a save. It's a two-up. It's a two-up. It is. I will five. move all my combat, my <laughs> combat dice over here and throw half on the floor. And I tell you what, I don't know. <laughs> always happens every time. I think it's just like a, a courtesy thing. Now you need to feed the floor just a couple of yes, dice every yeah. time. Yeah, you've got to feed the floor. Um, right, so that is. The shooting phase done because we don't do shooting. That's world leaders. No. Yeah. Uh, we'll just roll straight in to combat phase, shall we? I imagine that you just kind of like fire like a warning shot. Yeah, of course, of yeah. course. So here's my secret weapon here because what we're going to do is I'm going to attempt to charge Ooh. with these guys. Uh, it's a long charge. It's a long charge, yes. I believe it's an 11 inch charge. Uh, is there a reaction I can. I mean, oh, personally, I've seen it. God damn, that's. It's close, but you know, he's got a 25 mil face. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're, they're the original Mark II, so they, they came with a 28 mil base from when Horace. Oh, 28, 28, yeah. Heresy was, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 first came out. We've got the big boy bases on here. Yeah, I mean, I might one day upgrade them to bigger boy bases, but um, <laughs> for now, I think it adds a little bit of advantage. Well, yes, not unplaying so, for advantage. So you could brace if you wish, which is a morale check. Um, if failed, the Rex and player immediately falls back. Um, if successful, the re. Well, it automatically pass any morale checks required after losing the sum. Obviously, I mean, it is a long bomb charge. I mean. Mm, well, there might be a charge over there. It will be a charge over there, hopefully. But that's yes, obviously a dreadnought. So. Yeah, so I'm wondering about it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to base. I'm going to base. Um, so leadership is eight. That is less than eight. Pass. They are braced. They are braced. They are braced. Now, Brace. let's see what happens. Oh, it's got a roll. Oh, it was 11. It's not an 11 now. Boo. But it does exactly what Boo. I want it to do, and it gets me closer. What's that? Four inches. Got it. Wellity, wellity, well. Has already to already to hopefully, you know, for you to shoot me next turn, for then me to charge you with my advanced reaction. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not <coughs> not looking forward. I mean I'm just kind of shuffling backwards. I think we're just gonna go just retreat back to the engine arm. <laughs> 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 I hope, hope that it doesn't happen. Oh, oh dear. I don't have any more scoring units, so it's not like I could just bring something in from the back and be like, ha ha ha. Yeah, I know, I know. Gotcha. Yeah. When the chain axes are whirring, it's a bit of a hard one. Uh, right, so the Contemptor is going in. It is going in, so he's definitely Ooh, going he's in. Oh, he's got it. So he's Contemptor going. off. He's going to go over here. The giant gloves are off. Uh, but then I'm also going to attempt to charge with my Cataphractile. Ooh, so, yeah. So again, long bomb. We are, oh, yeah, again, really weird. 10 stroke 11. We'll say 11. A fraction of inch. Oh, oh, make it. Oh, that's definitely yep. no. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go two inches as a failed charge. Maybe kind of gave him too much of a build up. I know, and then it just I kind know. of froze on the spot. It's flopped. Yeah. But I'd rather them fail. <laughs> yeah. And him get in <laughs> rather than the other way around. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yes, yes. Um, That'd be much better for me. A lot better for you. Yes, because he's got a uh, chain fist which does. Lots of damage. Lots of damage. It's the power fist that's scary. But then. Brutal three. Yeah. That, that's the scary one. Yep. Oh yeah, I've got the power fist. Haha. <laughs> you. You have the nitty. Right. Um, I'm gonna work this one out. 
So we've got three attacks, standard. We've got dual power fist, or dual fisties, and then we've got two. One for charging, charging one for being the world eater. <laughs> You're attacking simultaneously as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah, point. So um, we're both doing damage. I get three attacks of standard. Yep, that's it. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, both weapons kill five, so that's going to be hitting on uh, four. Four. Yes. Here we go. Come on! Oh my! Oh! Days. oh the world eater in me is. Angron will uh, not be pleased. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, we've got one each, so that's um, that's 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 something. Damn it! That's nice. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, okay. Oh dear. Really bad. No, Angron will. Really, really bad. I mean, that that was average for me, but that was yeah. shocking. Feck, that was bad. <laughs> okay, so, um, yes. Strength so, root of three, strength nine. Yeah. I'm gonna, oh, that's all I'm gonna use as well. I don't think my chain is definitely gonna run. Yeah. Okay, okay, here we so go. So, pretty on three is... Come on! Oh! <laughs> what?! Uh, the living hell, oh, man! No. Oh, my not days! Even, not even one, we're all the same. <sighs> oh, Someone, comment down below. What are the odds of this? This is wrong. I don't know. This this is stupid. They're just, they're just showing. They're just showing off over there. They're just, <laughs> just wailing at each other like, No, I'm the strongest. No, I'm the strongest. Oh! Oh man. Right. Well. That, that's me. That's me. Just. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> so you get uh, one point for that corner. And then you sit in that corner over there, so you get another two. Oh, I'm going to need to try and get some points back on this one. But uh, I'm a little bit worried about this squad, kind of pinned down. But um, some reinforcements might just come in. Or will they? We'll find out in a moment. All right, so at the end of my movement phase, uh, the Salamanders had done a brave tactical withdrawal uh, whilst also closing the door, so then, you know, they can't see the issue. It's not really there, so it's fine. Um, it's not going to slow them down in any way, shape or form, but they feel like it helps. So they <laughs> run around uh, to join the carnage in the middle, perhaps the next turn, and who has arrived? But, oh, the Paraglass with the horrible insidious incineratory beams that should hopefully be able to pop some of these terminators off. This squad of tactical marines have shimmied round as well just to line up some shots at the terminators as well just to pick off any few that might still remain but let's see if I get lucky on some rolls. So we're going to roll up uh, with the power class so there's five of them using their uber duber focus charge beams of Molten Fury. I'm a little nervous. I can't, I can't deny. <laughs> I'm nervous about the dice roll. Um, so, hitting on threes. Not too bad. Not too bad. Two missed. Uh, strength eight. Maybe one. <laughs> there was a one. There was a one. Always a one. Always a one. Invulnerables. Invulnerables. Let's see them. Oh, that's too dead. dead. Just straight through the chest and yeah. <laughs> Two instant deaths. Beautiful. Oh, okay. Beautiful. That was um, worth it. That, that was it. Was worth it. Um, yeah, it took a bit of a bit of time to deliberate where the heck to put them. Put them there seemed like the best bet indeed. Yeah, um, yeah definitely. So I'm gonna go. Tactical squad over there into the rest of the Terminators. Um, the majority can see them probably bar. No, even the one on the side can see as well. That's cool. Um, ten, five, and then potion under five. What is that? That makes ten. Got my small dice today with my tiny baby hands. <laughs> um, so we're going hitting on threes. So that's pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
Uh, strength four, toughness four. Four. Yeah. yeah, I keep forgetting that Terminator is toughness four. You yeah. think it'll be like toughness five? But... No, I know, I know. Yeah, but I'm two or so. It's not too bad. Um, mm, a few more misses. That's annoying. So it's four. Four saves, please. Four average saves. Yes. Four. Domestic. Oh, damn it! One's got a wound. One goes. Through. One's got a wound. Excellent. Okay, okay. And right at the end of that, oh, frantically glorious shooting phase, we're going to go on to the song phase. And you know what that means? It's Dreadnought time. It's so Dreadnought time. Dreadnought time, Dreadnought time. <laughs> and you get to roll one less dice this time. Two less dice. Two less? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Okay, so hitting on threes. Yes. 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 Oh, oh, strong start. God damn it. Oh yes, strong start. Okay, better. and we've gone <laughs> three. threes. Can we finish? Yes. <gasps> no, much better. No, yes, no, yes, yes, okay. and no. Okay, All at the same time. So that's uh, twelve wounds for you, and then that's nine <laughs> for me. I know because we get to do invulnerable <coughs> saves. Yeah, we've got five up invulnerable saves, baby. Cool. Um. Yeah. So, uh, that was quick. Yeah, the shooting phase literally disappeared. So what's this, nine nine saves? Yes. That's nine dice. Okay, I'll roll my up first. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's pretty good. So how many have we got saved? Two. So we've got six, well, uh, we might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it, a four or five up? It's five up. It's five up, yeah. Five up, okay. So I need... A lot. A lot. I need 12. Um, I mean, I was going to be one of those people and just roll it on my turn. So, I've got a fail. Pass. A fail. A fail. A fail. And the rest. Hmm. The both <laughs> dead. Yeah. Um, so that's nine wounds. I don't yeah. think they have nine wounds. No. No. Um, six wounds <laughs> is, is, is what we have. Six oh, wounds each. Nice. I never <laughs> heard they just like both fists. Do you reckon that they were just like whirring up their fists, like <laughs> <laughs> spinning them around, going, oh, I'll get you, I'll get oh. you. So, yeah, we've, uh, yeah, we've mutually annihilated each other. Love it. Excellent, um, excellent. Right, so. Do they explode? Uh, they do, sir. Oh. They do. A D6. Right. Yeah. So both of us explode two six inches. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, it's a whole five inches. Oh, and it's a four. So that would be. Uh, oh fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, your, your squad. That you've yeah. just moved closer. Yeah, my squad. <laughs> I moved closer to do one wound on the Terminator, only to get obliterated. So that's um, nice. all of all of those. So that's that. So that's seven. Seven. So we do these separately. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's six, seven, strength eight. Um, yeah, that's all of them. Um, would you like to do some armor saves on your squad? Ah, uh, you very much would. <laughs> uh, so that's three dead. Three dead. Oh, oh. Uh, where would you like to take them from? Uh, the front. These from ones? the inferno. Yes. There we go, and then the the next one is five four, inches. Four inches. Yeah. Oh no, this one's five inches. This one, I'm four on that one. So that one's all of them. And then we go two, four, six, seven, seven again. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. lucky sevens. And, oh, one fails. So you got six moves to make. Oh. I think that they were too busy just watching just the, the epic punch in, up of a century in, in awe and then just saw the blonde and white flash and went, oh great. Only one. It's not too bad. It's, it's, bad. it's okay. okay. I okay. But they yeah. do need to do a test. A round. Yes. So these are still there. So it's normally eight. Eight. Minus the No no it's fine. No, so no. They're all good. They're all good. See, it's a magic seven. And Nothing ever seven. There's two craters. <laughs> the two massive <laughs> deaths. Mutual destruction. <laughs> in, oh, uh, in, in the rock creek floor. <coughs> oh my 
days. stands two sets of giant contenta feet. Yeah, that was a weird. That turn. was pretty. <laughs> that was a weird. Turn. That that was very much the complete opposite of the first first round of there being nothing, and then this turn just being absolutely everything. Two terminators down with a one on wound, and then you wiped those. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's one big threat off the board. Yeah. For each side. Um, and then I scored two points on this side. It's cool. Um, awesome. So that gets me up on to six points. Two points? Two points. How do you sorry. Two points? Which? One point each. One point each. Oh, sorry. That, that was my... Uh, what's the dice? Attrition. Reinforcement dice. That one. One of them. Yes, one of them. One of them. Not that nice. Cool! Um, so yes, two points to more. Um, but that's fine. We're all having fun here, so I'm going to go <laughs> into... Who cares about points? I mean, you know, when we have epic punch-ups like that. So, yeah. <laughs> World Eaters, turn three. Okay. Right. So, uh, World Eaters, turn three. Now, um, my Praetor has decided to come on with his four reinforcement points. And he's running from the back. We are turn three. We've got potentially two more turns. So don't want him really hanging around too much. We could bring him in later on, but he's yeah, he's gonna take too long to be here and then he's gonna he can't charge. He can't do a lot of different things. Um, so yeah, I just thought bring him on, run him up the board, give him a full run. These guys have a round because they'll link up in a minute. These boys have come round the corner, hoping to get a charge off on those guys. Quite a large charge. Try and get that off. Um, Terminators are going to try it. Terminate. They're going to try it. They're going to try it. They're going to try it. Cool. So we're, we're going to see. We're going to see how that goes down. Um, right. We're first off. Uh, my Terminator champion is going to use his bulk kite. Excellent. He's going to use Volkite and he's going to use um, all sorts of other shenanigans and stuff and things. I don't know. We love stuff and things. Stuff and things and stuff. We love stuff and things. All us nerds, we love stuff and awesome things. So, uh, just not when it's aimed at us. No, definitely no. not. <laughs> I'm quite glad that he's like way off at the back because that means, like you say, he's going to take many, 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 many turns to get up where he needs to be. Luckily, you guys are all sort of gunning for me, so when I bring in my uh, Centurion in next turn, he can get stuck in really, really quick, but I don't really know who to pair him up with. But that'll be something that I'll think about and have to worry about later on. Uh, it's kind of, <coughs> yeah, I'm just working it out. Uh, so the Volcat Charger is going into the... Um, Class. We have a, a yes, and then boom. And a wound in there as well. Oh. That was good, that was good. I like it. Oh. Oh. And the Common Walters. Now, it's up as four. That's good. We've got two up save from here. Mm. Yes, I do. Go for it. Lots of ones. Yeah! <laughs> okay, uh, but that will not help. Um, my. Shoulders are not shooting. They don't want to shoot. You don't want to shoot? No. Sure. Okay. Positive? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I can bring action. Yes. I don't know what I'm going to react with. Power class! So, uh, upon consideration, I have decided not to use the reaction to run away. I'm going to stand firm uh, during the shooting phase, and it means that in the salt, uh, I can still use my wall of death and be comfortably within range. As so moving on. Yes, we have 
all of a sudden just realised that Overwatch isn't a reaction in his own results. Dun, dun, dun. Um, which, yeah, which kind of like put, puts a bit of a weird one on it, really. It doesn't really make much sense, because yeah. you want to try and kill everything off your starship or underground facility and things. Um, yeah. We're just going to house rule it as it is. Yeah. Uh, um, a reaction. Because <clears throat> it makes no sense the fact that you can't shoot things as they run in. You know? So we're just, we're just going to play it as it is a reaction to the assault phase rather than not because it makes pyroclasts and charging in like, no risk at all. Exactly, and it, it feels like it takes some of the fun out of it. So yeah, yeah. so yeah, we're just going to roll with it as yeah, as we see it really, rather than like that. Yeah. So yeah, rules as now. We're going to house rule that. As exactly. You can you can Overwatch on a a charge. Damn right, and yeah, if you agree, let us know with a like and a comment, and let us know if you use this sort of house rule in your own zone, zone mod house games as well. That'd be great to, to hear if you use the same rules as well. Right. So, on to charging. Yes, indeed. Um, Terminators. In. They are charged. Yep. Sweet. Right. Ooh, so. <laughs> well, we'll come back to the Overwatch in a second. Yes. Um, despoilers. Now they have a long charge. Which is indeed a mighty, mighty charge. I think it's a nine, from what I remember. It is a nine. Ooh. Come on. I need to get into combat and not die. Die. Um, is that just a three inch charge? Uh, we're sneaking closer. Get there a little bit by bit. Yep. So. Right. War of Death. He's been ignited. There's five of them there. And instead of the usual D3 per model with the Dragon Breath weapons, it becomes D6 shots. And they're normally strength 6, but with the Salamanders, <coughs> we either get a plus 1 to flavors. Or it's the Zone Mortalis for all the flamer weapons get plus 1 strength. It's one or the other. <laughs> so now strength 7. See it. Oh. This many. Ooh. So it's 10, 16, 17 shots. 17, 17 hits. 17 hits. Um, so that's 10, 13, 16. Okay, strike 7. Oh, there we go, got it. Um, toughest 4, 6. Threes, almost twos, not quite. No, twos, it's twos. Oh, it is twos. Okay, that makes this roll much better. Um, so that's going to be, so three drops, that's 14 saves. Okay. At AP, four. So you still get Still get the two up. Two up save. Okay, right. How Ooh. many was that? 14. Oh, boy. Seven, 14 dice. Don't mess with this enemy, this. You get burnt! Now. Let's, uh, let's make sure there's no ones. God damn oh, it. there's some ones! There's, a, there's enough ones. There's oh, too many ones. No. There's too many. They are dead. Oh, that's uh. the exact number I needed. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so glad that I managed to click one wound oh. off one of them from the. Uh, that was a squad. Oh, it no. all came together. Damn it. Damn, oh. damn it. Damn it. Chef's kiss. What? Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Well, that's ruined my day. <laughs> <laughs> but you are up on points. You know, you've got this table quarter and you've got your HQ on board. So, yeah. once wise, everything's coming up butcher. Mm. We are indeed. We are indeed. Yes. I will decide to claim. Both contested. Right, yes. Okay, so I've got one. You have one today. So, at the end of that devastating round, it's going to go into the Salamanders turn three. 
And so the start of the Salamanders uh, turn three, or rather the, the end of the movement phase. So I had enough reinforcing points to bring in my Centurion. He has buddied up with this tactical squad over here uh, to hopefully give them a little bit more strength for when the inevitable screaming tide of world eaters comes charging through the door <laughs> and barreling towards me. But for now, they are going to join their brothers over here that have shimmied over to this table quarter just by enough to score them another point. And they're gonna take some pot shots over at them alongside the backup from the beautiful pyroclasts. Uh, so we're all just gonna bully this unit over here, which is a massive bully circle. So Yeah, they're extended, they're overextended now. Oh much so. Yeah. <laughs> right. Just going to have a little measure up, see who is in double tech range. All of them. And then just the ones that can see over there. Brilliant! So, and to roll some cheeky cheeky dice. That's a lot of dice. There's a, it's going to be a lot of dice there. So I'm gonna use this first squad here. So it's 10, so I'm gonna add two. Don't have enough dice, so I'm gonna roll them twice. Yeah, I arrived. I made that right. Uh, so we're going to hit on three. I said three, so not one. Damn it. And then fours and fours is, of course, four. Uh, so that's three. There we go. We're rolling again. One minute. But this time it's better. I said better. Okay, damn it. Not yet. Not yet, my friend. And then another four. four. Seven saves. Minus out. That's not too two bad. Then we're gonna go with the squad of what's that? Six. But realistically only three can see. Um I think four actually. Four. That one there, that one there. Cool. So that is going to be eight. Eight shots. Yep. Freeze again. And then a mighty falls. That's his three wounds. Oh, oh another two. No. Ooh, they're going to be whipped. Whittled down. <laughs> okay. Alright. <coughs> Stop. <coughs> right. Flame attack. Flip it down. Mm -hmm. Right, so we've got four. Definite four. Oh, actually, five there. We could do five. five. Okay, five. Yes. Um, five. We're good. Ten. Ten. That one we could do three. Four. Okay, so that's fourteen. Nineteen, <laughs> and then he can do. I think the best he can get is four. Is it twenty? Ooh. No, five. Twenty-four. Oh, oh so twenty-four. I'll take them off. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you know, I, you never. Know, I could roll really, really, really badly. Um, but no, I won't. I'll roll really, really well. Uh, I'll just do them in two clumps of twelve. It's strike seven. Winning on threes. Yep. Yeah. That's. Seven. No, two. Twos. Oh, I'll put that two back. Um, so that's eleven. Saves. If you remember that for next yep. time. Twos. Another eleven. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Okay. Clear that. Make some way for the dice tray. No way, no way. Well, it's 12. Yes. Let's just do it fast as 12. It's three dead. Okay, so three dead. Oh, I'll match to all. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. And another three dead. Um, Is that six? Uh, oh, we've all of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. Um, yeah. I completed what I wanted to do, baby! 
Oh, there we awesome. Go. Awesome, right. And so with the foul smell of slowly cooked and <coughs> charred world eaters, the salamanders rise and the ashes are victorious upon this round, scoring a mighty two points. Sending me up to four. Ooh. It is getting pretty close. It's four to five as we move into turn four of the world eaters. Da, da, da. So, um, yeah. It's a bit hard on the world in turn four. Uh, I've just basically ran uh, my centurion up. Uh, what do you call it? My champion. Um, to join this squad. This squad has moved to the door. Um, hasn't opened it yet, but I hope to charge through it into the next phase on turn five. But uh, yeah, there's not much I can do, unfortunately. They hold two table quarters means that I will be losing count on points with them having more elites dead I've killed my, my elites so yeah we are looking at a loss unfortunately the nails have been recharged into it we got them yeah. Just, just that. I mean, that dreadnought combat was spectacular. <laughs> um, but like I say, you get a charge to the door and then just kind of sit there. Then I'm just gonna slowly march up and just think yeah. away. Yeah, and you got me. You got me with three good burn stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, yeah really, really helpful. Yeah. Um, but yes, so that is uh, in my entire turn four. Unfortunately, running to the door. <laughs> Um, right, I mean, yeah, as is kind of stated there, um, I mean, in my turn four, I just sort of move up, get to the door and just kind of wait for the door to be open for me to yeah. charge in. So I think we will end the game there. So we're just going to uh, wrap up with our sort of end thoughts and we'll be back in a mo. And so here we are up to the end of the game. So it was a mighty four points to five. Uh, no, no, you no, would have been more. Yeah, so you took out two elites. Um, I only took out one elite. You were on six points at the end of the game. I was on six points at the end of the game. So you win on one more victory point than than me. Yay, it the is a first! Just came charging it in, <laughs> trying to take the Ingenorum. The Salamanders heroically pushed them back to their dread claws to lick their wounds. As they smell the burnt and the dying of their brothers coated in Prometheum, as the Salamanders today say, No, get off our ship! Leave. Angron will not be pleased. No, but Ang uh, but Vulcan will be overjoyed. But I have a feeling that the World Eaters will be coming back with a vengeance and more Dreadclaw drop pods, I am sure. So hopefully next time we might be able to get a few more units together to do a thousand points. But um, at this 750 point, it's we can do interesting lists, but at the same time quite limited to what we can field. Yeah, yeah, I think 1,000 points, 100% next time. Um, just to try and get some vari variation. Really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's great, these little squads, um, but it does limit you to kind of having scoring units, elite, and of course you want a HQ of some kind, don't you? So, yeah, it, it's, it, it kind of really pushes you into a small, tiny, tiny little... Yeah. I mean, you definitely need like a, a big man in charge running around. Yeah, yeah, yeah helping yeah. out as best he can. Um, a bit. Oh, I think I think the the moment of the match was those two um, oh. <laughs> contenders. Yeah, simultaneous <laughs> destruction. Uh, that was yeah. That was, that was great. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, 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 couldn't have been more thematic. Really, you know, one yeah. went for the head, the other went for the body, and both succumbed Just, to their wounds. Just wound up their shots on the first turn to go, nope, nope, nope. And then next time, bam. Yeah, it was great. Reactor destruction, poof, detonation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, though, I mean, you know, losing those Terminators was a defining point for me as well. Um, 
that just yeah. haven't got enough firepower on the table and you adjust. Yeah. I mean, those those power packs, I think I might need to invest in a few more of them. Yeah, they're mean. They're really, really, really mean. I mean, at first, when you kind of look at them, you think, oh, they're just like support squad or heavy weapon team with heavy flamers. No, 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 no. Do not underestimate them, especially yeah. with that focus fire. Yeah. What, especially the <laughs> narrow, narrow confines of starships. You know, I mean, I could imagine on the board, easily dealt with. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, in, stick, stick a tank in front of them uh, or yeah. anything, anything meaty. Yeah. Or a Leviathan. Or like with their pipe lights of doom. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah. Shudder I mean, at the thought. <clears throat> you know, being on a starship, being running around corridors, they have, they are the boss. They are owning it. <laughs> Massively <laughs> owning it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's their ship after all. They're saying, get the car out of our ship. Yeah, boy. Yeah, they are. They are. They are pretty beastly when it comes to um, shipboard fighting. Definitely, definitely. Damn right. But I hope that uh, all of you have enjoyed this bat rep for this week. And if you are a new a subscriber, we massively appreciate it. If you really, really like this. Um, comment down below which part, which moment was your favourite. There might be some rules that we miss, but we're pretty confident we got the majority of it. Ish. 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 <laughs> and yeah, drop a like and ring that little little bell icon as well to keep up to date with all the latest at Lynch Paints. And um, yeah, so from myself and the butcher, Bye. thank you ever so much for watching. Stay safe, stay beautiful, and we'll see you all next time.